Destroyer into Demon. Did they forget about their Nico spell? They're snapping back? What's going on here? Are they just trying to scare me or something? Yeah, bold strategy, Cotton. I don't know about that one, Chief. They know I'm wearing the hat. Oh. I can't say I was expecting that. It's just always a lie. If it's null, we're good. Oh god, do I really want to do this for eight? Ah! It's null! Game and X23! The X23! I had it with the Enchantress! Ah! What was the Destroyer play, though? Ahoy, everyone. Perry Manilow back here with another Snap Judgment Stream Team deck guide. Destroy is absolutely plaguing the meta right now, so I have a list here for you guys that will solve all of your Destroy-related woes. This is Tech Knight from one of my favorite deck builders in the community, Buddy. Link in the description below to follow him on Twitter. Emperor Hulkling is the newest card in Marvel Snap, and he can sometimes pay off with huge value hits. And when he doesn't, you can just turn him into a 411 Ebony Blade. You're absolutely loaded up with tech options here, and Invisible Woman acts as one of the core components to hide those cards behind to get value out of them later. Copycat is still amazing despite the nerf. Do not drop her. Using Cersei on cards like Ghost Rider or even hiding her behind Invisible Woman can often go a long way in maximizing your cube value. It's very refreshing to be able to play a Black Knight list, especially in this meta when it's so strong and it really helps against all those pesky destroy decks popping up. Again, if you enjoy these videos, please like and sub. It goes a long way with that YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Let's see it in action with some gameplay highlights. All right, we got Black Knight on one, that's good. Haven't gotten any Cersei value yet, but I think she is worthwhile. Okay, another destroy deck. Stealing their death is pretty huge. Less so, Valkyrie could be Giga value as well. Oh, that's true. We didn't steal their death, but we at least know it's on the bottom of the deck. So they're most likely not going to destroy it, or to draw it. So when we're doing our end of turn stuff, end of game stuff, we don't have to account for death. So we can just... We don't want them to know that, though, do we? I don't think we do. Does it matter? We can get this for better, better value later, anyway. Alright, bye-bye, Killmonger. Bye-bye, Black Knight, I should say. So they're destroyed, which means they're most likely not running Eliath, so we can set this up. Although, this is probably going to be their destroy lane. Unless they are looking to Venom Zola. They're snapping. That's fine. We have all the answers we need right here. Let's set this up over here. I'm going for hard reads. Ah, a Tuma destroy. Okay, that makes sense. Go mid. Go mid, go mid, go mid, go mid. Go mid. Go mid. Damn it. That's fine. Uh, we have a Cersei as well. Cersei under Invisible Woman's honestly not too bad either. And then I'm thinking it might be... Copycat Valkyrie final turn, considering what we have here. I could just Shang now as well. But I might be expecting the Zola here. Unless Wolverine goes mid. Okay, so it is perfectly lined up here for a Zola play. They've got Pryo. The question is now, what is it going to be? If it's Zola, we're good, because we got the Shadow King over here. If it's Null, we're a little less good. Unless we get the hard read with that. If they just drop Null mid, we know, what it, we know they don't have death, because it's right here. Because if they do Zola, we whiff on the Shang, they win mid, we lose, we win right. Uh, I guess the Shang is better, then. All right. I knew it. I knew it. I should have went with my my gut. But either way, we're good. Didn't matter. 
We got it either way, but I would have liked to have been right with my hard read. Oh well. Womp. And... Nice. Easy. Easy dubs. This deck is definitely strong against Destroy with all of the counters we have. We have answers for everything. We stole their Mobius. That doesn't really affect us too much, though. So if we play Invisible Woman into Machine World, and then we play cards into the Invisible Woman, the cards won't get into their hand until the end, right? I think we do that. Oh god, they're playing Pixie. Well, we're about to shut them down real good. We're gonna hit him with the snap. This is where good old Copycat comes in clutch. Because we know Mobius is on the bottom of their deck, so they ain't gonna be able to reverse it. Question is, do I play Pixie? The answer is no, never. But maybe later tonight. We still don't have a whole lot going on here. I guess I can drop the Enchantress behind the Invisible Woman. Okay, Captain Marvel. Hulkling, what do you got for me? Leader. Okay. All right, all right. We could do something with that. Let's do the Ghost Rider into Tarnax just for some value. Same with this. And then we'll just do a, a 611 leader to try and win the game here. They give the Invisible Woman the Tarnax treatment, gets a Kate Bishop. And poor Jeff gets turned into a 2 2 Loki. So they get a whole deck back. Gwenpool. Okay. That's kind of bad. 2 6 Shadow King just resets itself. So not super useful there. Uh, this doesn't do anything because we didn't draw the Nico. So, I do believe it is just going to be a 611 leader here. And that should do it. That's definitely one of the better hits you can get with Hulkling, I would think. So let's see if it pays off. One card mid. We copy it. It is Red Hulk. Nice. There you go. Huge value from the Emperor Hulkling. That's a casserole. Four cubes. Well, it's not a casserole. Captain Marvel had to go ruin the fun, but it's still four cubes. We'll still take that. Goes by Salbert. Okay, She-Hulk. That's some good value. She-Hulk definitely has some value here. All right, let's drop the I-dubs. What is this? Double cast, that feels good. Now you're hitting the Shang-Chi in the face. Ah, oh, the cartoon, okay. Lad hits Iron, I mean Odin. So let's get that out of there before that goes off. Copycat hits Ravona. I think we'll just go, uh... We could do float into... Hulkling Cersei next turn. I don't mind that. Double Namora. Can I move the Invisible Woman and Shadow King left? It won't move the Shadow King, right? No. Damn. I think I'm okay with this, though. The blue one is good, too. That's not the one I have, though. Let's do this. Double the Cersei. What could possibly go wrong? Nope, it's double white tiger, and one went left, so I think we're fine. Unless this goes catastrophically wrong somehow. I think we're okay. Ooh. Uh-oh. Well, hold on. Nope, I think we're okay. Okay. Yep, we're moving. Okay, even better. Except it's gonna get reverted by the Shadow King. Uh-oh. Hold on. Just kidding, we had the Hulkling. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Some wild Cersei shenanigans, but we got there. Okay, here we go. Hulkling with Mockingbird. So that's good. 
Mockingbird, probably not going to be too useful in this deck unless we hit Cersei. I think I don't mind a 411 if I go Lady Sif here. Yep, I think that's what we're going for. We'll take it. Venom. Okay, so at least we know they don't have Venom. That's helpful. Let's drop this over in Necrotia. Shadow King's going to be huge for us in this matchup here. Although, again, we don't have to deal with Venom. But we can take out the Carnage, the Wolverine. Wow, they all landed in the same location. So I think we're good here. They could kill Monger still. Uh, we just drew the Infinite as well. So without the Ghost Rider, I think we can snap here. I don't want to do that because then I would lose with the Shadow King. I might just Shadow King now, to be honest. Because we know they don't have Venom. So what else am I going to use it for? Deadpool, perhaps. Giving himself some negative power onto Null with the minus one Deadpool, but didn't have much of a choice there. X-23 stays in the same lane. Nice. Yep, she kind of screwed you over there. And we do get the Ghost Rider. So... They destroyed one, two, three, four cards. So death costs four. Null's not going to be that big. Death over here ties. They do, have, they do have a Deadpool. That's two power. Nico? Yeah, I guess it's just this. How do they win left? It's going to be tiebreaker mid. Oh, actually, we get the buff from Clubhouse. Forgot about that. So there's death. Sabretooth. Ha. Huh. Okay. They didn't play mid. We're good. If they had played Sabretooth mid, we also would have won because of the buff from Clubhouse. But there we go. Nice. Sorry, Morbius. You're going to get hit by the uh, Enchantress. At least I know you're not running Killmonger. Heli Carrier could be worth some consideration. Bye bye, Morb. Do I snap back? We're going to lose right, but I'm thinking it's Blade Ghost Rider here, and then we just Cersei left. Ah, oh, win four cubes. They're not going to beat... They're not going to beat all this. They haven't discarded uh, APOC yet. Well. Oh, he's got swarms in his hand. He's screwed. Does he even have APOC? He didn't even have APOC! Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He don't even have the APOC. There it is. The four. 